With the PlayStation meeting creeping up on the calendar and salacious rumors piling up, it's hard not to get caught up in the fervor of the PlayStation Nation. Whatever the next PlayStation's called, whatever the killer specs or game-changing features are, it's still going to come down to the games. We've tapped the GT staff for what they want to see from Longfellow franchises, dormant developers, and the perennial missing in action. When we started this list, we soon realized it couldn't be contained at a mere 10, so we're here to present 20 games we want to see on the PlayStation 4. Not to buck the trend too much, here are the first 10 in no particular order. I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? Come on, man, you deserve to relax. One of Sony's best new brands for the PS3, Infamous lets you zip across rooftops and shoot balls of lightning from your fingertips. A next-gen sequel could easily benefit from the extra juice as it could make for wider vistas, a more populated and dynamic world, and spectacular lighting and physics effects as Cole wreaks havoc in the streets. That said, the story didn't leave much room for a sequel, so Sucker Punch may be readying even more electrifying ideas for the PS4. With almost two years since the release of Infamous 2, we could see their next project very soon. Hey, baby. There's more of this waiting for you inside. We've been to Southern California, Washington, D.C., and New Vegas with our trusty Pip-Boy, but there's still plenty of places to venture in Fallout's world. With Bethesda now owning the rights to the Fallout franchise, we hope it won't be long until we can wander the wasteland again. Which city will be next? The Twitter sphere is pointing at Boston. But why not New York or New Orleans? Wherever we emerge, we'll be excited to loot every box and batty while enjoying a refreshing Nuka Cola. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. We know it's coming, what with the advertised access to the beta included with Medal of Honor Warfighter. Recalling EA's early Fight Night tech demo in the PS3, it wouldn't be a stretch to expect a real-time demonstration of Battlefield 4 running on an updated or perhaps even new Frostbite engine to showcase the PS4's graphical capabilities. Can we expect to see a true 64-player Battlefield experience for the first time on consoles while running at a smooth 60 frames per second? We certainly hope so. Yeah. Killzone 2 was a flagship for the PlayStation 3, bringing target renders to life. It stands to reason Sony will try a hell-gassed blitzkrieg on the PS4 as well, transporting this grim FPS to further prominence. Maybe just with a little less six-axis valve turning and more multi-objective, non-restrictive class-based multiplayer. Inside Intelligence tells us that Guerrilla is working on a new IP as well, so here's hoping that Sony's ready to double dip and deliver both the familiar and the new. The day each vision became a reality! The excitement we felt from the debut trailer has been sadly and repeatedly diminished as the game turned into a no-show at every trade show. But we've never quite forgotten about this promising project featuring a boy and his wondrous cat-like griffin creature. What exactly happened to The Last Guardian? We honestly can't tell you, but we can still hope. We've been burned time and time again by including this game in our most anticipated lists, but it's possible this long dormant game could make a triumphant return on Sony's next, next generation console. And if there's no news of it at Sony's upcoming event, well, at this point we're used to disappointment. Another project announcement by Team Eco might begin to make it up to us. You are weak. You must feed. The old hunger has left me. I have no desire for blood. Many franchises were born on the original PlayStation. However, one in particular had a cult following worthy of a vampire anti-hero. Legacy of Kain distilled many genres into one bloodbath, garnered critical success, and spread onto multiple next-gen consoles in the form of Soul Reaver and more. With Sony's next-gen console on the horizon, Legacy of Kain could be reinvented for a brand new audience, complete with the technical charm of new hardware and the bite of a mature narrative fitting of Sony's player base. Your bloodthirst is replaced by a deeper need. You have become a devourer of souls. The Phantom Pain's debut to the 2012 Video Game Awards was a freaky three minutes by a made-up Swedish development studio. No release date, no story details, worst of all, no console announcement. 
If CEO Joaquin Mogren will allow it, perhaps later this month we'll finally see an end to the speculation and a start to the pre-orders. Granted, The Phantom Pain is in all likelihood just some sort of sequel or prequel within the Metal Gear series, but despite that, it still looks more unique than most anything else on this list. Also, look at this giant flying explosion whale. Catch a deep breath. It'll be the last fresh air you'll get for a while. At last year's E3, LucasArts was proud to show off its dazzling new project, Star Wars 1313, but played coy whenever we asked which platform we'd be playing it on. Our hopes is that after February 20th, its developers won't have to wink at us any longer and can finally reveal that this game, with its beautiful little particle effects and faces that look like actual human faces, will be available for the PlayStation 4. Watch it! Are you awake? Though the series fighting game offshoot broke the streak last August, the bread and butter of Persona's RPG empire has remained a Sony exclusive all through the years, and we wouldn't be surprised to see the franchise continue to be a big draw to the PlayStation name. While much of what we know about the inevitable fifth installment remains a blank, 2012's Catherine, developed by much of the same team, provides a potential glimpse into the future with its crisp anime-inspired visuals and unnerving supernatural themes. For far too long, the plotless, blood-soaked multiplayer maps of the FPS have worn a military sheen, be it Marine or Space Marine. Unreal tournaments, twisted team modes, alt-fire massacres, and twitchy action need not die on the vine. And with Unreal 4 around the corner, this once and future juggernaut of the genre could and should ascend on the stage and be reborn. Come back to Game Trailers tomorrow for the rest of the list, and keep coming back every day for more PlayStation 4 as we dig into all the juicy rumors, ask our big personalities what they think, and more, as we count down to the PlayStation meeting on the 20th. I'm going to find you, and expose you to the world.